honestly, what's made me who I am today is from leaving home at 15 and being on my own, having to survive. You know, it's just a survival mode that I put myself in since I was 15. I'm still, I'm just still trying, you know? It hasn't been easy. So when I sobered up and I got, I got him back and started seeing Dr. Pearl, I started having problems with him at school, getting into trouble and not being able to focus. She knows everything I know about my son and she I get that comfortable feeling where I could actually tell her not hold anything back or hide anything from her. I, I feel that she needs to know. that she, She's worked with me. She's helped me. She's kind of like, um, she's brought up like ideas, what I can do, like take them off certain like foods. You know, she's gone above and beyond to try to help me. You know, she calls me when she's not, like after hours. I wouldn't change her for anything. I don't, I don't feel I would have got that anywhere else. She opens up something in my son that, that he, he's a whole different child around her. I mean, he, his feelings come out, he cries to her. You know what I mean? It's like, he's not like that with anybody else. So to me, it's not just a doctor. She's been like a friend to me and to my, my child. So to have somebody there to care for my child, it's meant a lot to me. Now I'm clean and sober. I don't. I quit smoking cigarettes. I don't drink. I volunteer. I drive my kids to schools. I get up early. I go to bed early. I cook dinners. It's totally different from where I was seven years ago, living out of motel rooms, you know, being there physically but not mentally for my children. I'm really lucky and happy that we ended up where we ended up. I don't know, honestly, if I wouldn't have Dr. Pearl, where would, where would my son be right now? Where would I be right now? I'm pushing 50, and I've been trying to help myself since I was 19. I had a whole life of being suicidal and looking for what was going to make me healthy. And so I did this, I was into raw food, so I was into maybe I need to eat better. Maybe I need to pray harder. Maybe I need to meditate longer. I thought I just wasn't doing it right. My whole life wasn't done right. I mean, it was almost a life unlivable. Like when I was living in that, I couldn't get out of myself enough. I just thought this is who I am and I, um, I am lacking, I am failing. Someone had told me about Mary Ellen, who is my therapist, and that she'd had experience with borderline personality disorder. I loved her immediately, which doesn't happen very often, and she's just been holding the flashlight for me while I do the work for a couple years now. I started to feel safe for the first time in my life. I, yeah, I have whole days of feeling safe, maybe weeks, I don't even know. They're really present with you. 
And because they listen, they actually think about what you're saying and then find a solution for you that isn't on a checklist. And that's how I trusted to take some medication. And the space that gave me to do, like to make use and make sense of all the tools I'd been studying and trying to get my whole life, which made sense to me and never stuck. Suddenly I had a platform to stand on and some space and all those tools started coming back to me. And it's changed my life. It's changed my life. This is the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> it's a huge level of freedom and also accomplishment. It's with good therapy, with a good prescription regimen, and the right caretakers, not only do you feel better, you create space in your life. And these people noticed, and they showed me that it wasn't my fault. And that's changed my life. It's 100% 100, 100 different than it was. I'm, a, I'm more than a winner at this point. And I deserve it. I've learned that I deserve it.